Okay, today we managed to see if we can get to Thames for their field. This is how the airport looks like on Google Maps from above. Let's see if we can find it from the ground. Okay, the airfield should be behind those trees down there. According to Google, this should be the airport area, but don't see anything. Yes, this is one of those sunny days where England is giving its best. Your dog? Okay, I have no dog. Yesterday was raining, definitely. This is not very friendly, but I think that this was probably an old taxiway. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. And yes, here we have it. This is what remains of the runway. So Thamesford Airfield was probably <laughs> one of the most secret bases in the UK during World War II because it was the home of units whose job was to parachute supplies to the French resistance and uh, to infiltrate and exfiltrate secret agents. And now, yes, this is what remains of the runway. There is an area where some buildings have been converted to a farm and to some other commercial facilities, but that's basically it, with one exception. Don't look at the sky. Okay, we've seen the runway, but we're not done yet. Okay, this is probably what we are looking for. I hope so. Hope that nobody's chasing me away. Let's see if this place is open or it's at least accessible in some way. Yeah, there's a nice garden inside. Yeah, it seems to be open. Yes, it's open. There's no door. We can go in. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, there's not much, but this is a memorial for all the agents and uh, the people being involved in the secret service in France. Something in Russian, something in Polish. Le Français reconnaissant. So there is a memorial board. Western Lysanders. <laughs> yeah, these were the aircraft that had been used during World War II exactly for this kind of secret missions, infiltration missions. There's a Lysander at the Shuttleworth collection, which is a few miles down the road from here. Temps for Airfield Gibraltar Farm. The Polish stuff seem newish, probably. Yeah. Okay, we found what we came for. That's a bit underwhelming and probably not well kept, but places like this are the reason why I like the UK, which is my adoptive country. These things are still remembered and they form a part of the British identity today. My native country in Italy, we probably forget about these things too much and we don't celebrate them enough so thank you very much for watching and see you next time